Hello, welcome back to Dr. How. Today I'm going to be talking about creating a regeneration effect using Blender and KDN Live. The show I'm talking about today is Underworld, and what happens in that show is that the Doctor visits a spaceship, which is on a trip to find, it's on a quest to find uh, the lost race banks of the Minion people. So one of the characters, uh, Tala, is actually very old, and she's due for regeneration. They, they use some technology taken from the Time Lords to regenerate. And I'll just show you what happens is she starts off quite old. Uh, she gets put in this machine and then she actually regenerates. Now this is the uh, effect that I've created in KDN Live and Blender. If we have a look at the original, uh, what they've done is the usual kind of thing where they've, they've done a, a crossfade. Here she is uh, looking old, and then they've done this crossfade. And you can see uh, there's a few problems here. You can actually see the um, the edge there of the cheek is a little bit different. There's something strange happening down here. The clothes are moving and so on. That's the usual kind of thing that happens with the crossfade. They've done pretty pretty well here, actually. Um, she's in almost the same position. I think she's just slightly turned her head. So that's actually a pretty good crossfade. So we just want to put on some uh, special effects. But what I've done is I've created a morph using GTK Morph. Uh, so that slightly tidies up the crossfade so that the, the face actually seems to very smoothly change. So that's that, that improves the crossfade. And the other thing that I'm doing is I've, I've created this glow. Now this is uh, this has got an alpha channel, which is a transparency uh, layer, so you can that's why there's this big uh, checkerboard there. But you can see that there's a kind of uh, golden glow that's happening there. And I've gone for a very subtle uh, glow so that we can see the morph happen. So if we go to KDN Live, you can see the effect is being applied over uh, with over the top using this this layer here. So here we've got the original. Well, actually, this is the morph that I've that I've placed in at, at, over the original, and then this layer actually adds a uh, adds that glow. So I'm going to take you into Blender and show you what that looks like. What I've done is I've taken a circle, uh, which is actually a it's a mesh, so it's actually not not an ideal circle. It's actually got vertices, and I've and I've placed it over the face, and then I've moved where these vertices are to sort of track around the face. And if you have a look through the timeline, you can see that it actually matches uh, better the, the final results there, uh, which is fine because the, the face doesn't move that much. So um, if, if the face was moving a lot, we'd have to uh, maybe put in keyframes and actually make that make that mesh distort a little bit as, as time goes on. But here we don't actually need to do that. Now the circle, uh, so if we have a look, we've got the circle, there's the points of the circle, and we've and we've moved those points to, to look at the look like the face. Um, and we've got this particle system, and the particle system is going to emit particles. I've I've set it to emit from the vertices because I think if you just add a mesh circle, you don't end up with a um, an actual f a surface there. You actually end up with just just the boundary points. So I've had to emit the um, these particles from the vertices, so just just these edges edge points, which is fine. Gravity moves them around, and they end up looking like um, a big sort of smoky yellow golden kind of glow. I've changed a few things. Some the seed here is uh, just some random number that I've put in. There's a bit of randomness here that I've added in. I've just tried to make everything random. Switched on randomness there. I don't know why there's so many random seeds, but there you go. Um, the physics is Newtonian. The size of the particles is 0 0.05. Some of these are default numbers, but some of them I've I've created. I've changed the numbers. We've got this golden material that we're using. Now I'll show you how to create that. We, we're emitting a halo, which makes that kind of smoky effect. Um, we're displaying the points there, size is one pixel. Uh, I've left all of these field weights the same. In particular, I haven't changed gravity. Um, there might be reasons to change gravity 
um, to change how fast these, these things move because I'm using gravity to move them. I've also added this force field effect, this self effect to smoke flow. I'm, I'm not sure, if, I can't remember if that was really necessary, but it's got a strength of one, a flow of 0.3, uh, noise 0.5, I think that was default. And, and again, there's some other random seed. Um, you can actually make these these objects, uh, these particles uh, repel each other and so on. You can, you can create all sorts of force fields and wind effects, but I haven't done any of that. I've just used gravity to pull the, the, um, to pull the particles around. This gold is actually a, uh, it's not a texture, it's a material. I'm not sure exactly what the difference is, but a material uh, can be created here in this, uh, this tab. And I've set it to yellow, but as you can see, I've set the alpha. It's actually almost transparent, it's 0 0.02. So it's, um, it's only 2% perhaps uh, visible. And that's so that we can actually see the morph. It's actually quite a somber regeneration. Uh, we don't need to have a lot of um, uh, a, a very, very busy effect. Uh, the modern regenerations tend to be very dramatic moments and, the, and there tends to be fireworks going off and uh, it's, it's very, very dramatic. This is actually a sombre scene. She's, she's tired. She actually wants to die. She's pushed herself past the regeneration point so that she doesn't have to regenerate, she's, so she doesn't have to continue on this quest that they're on. Um, and the music's quite somber as well. So this, so she's lying down and and she's 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 wanting to die. So we don't, actually don't want a really really busy effect here. We just want a slow morph and a little bit of that glow, that that regeneration glow. Right. So I've run out of time to actually show you how to create this in Blender. So I'll do that in the next episode. But for now, what I'd like to do is just show you what the finished sequence is going to look like. Um, we've got the Tala being placed in the machine, the machine gets switched on and as you can see she uh, regenerates, you can see the morph happening there and then eventually she's actually all young again. Uh, so that's the finished result, that's what we're aiming for. Uh, next episode I'll show you how to do it in Blender. I'm Dr. Howe, thanks for watching, talk to you later, bye.